Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing my current favorites with you and I'm genuinely so excited about it because I think it's been a full seven months now since my last favorites upload, which I know is a really long time. We were kind of on a roll every month or every two months for a while, but if I'm testing out products that are just not quite hitting the marks that I need them to, then I would rather wait to upload than force something to be considered a favorite for the sake of posting a favorites video more often. It takes a lot for something to really be a favorite of mine. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. That is why there has been such a long break since my last favorites video, but I have tons to share with you today that I am so excited about. I have been using all of these products nonstop and I know you're gonna love them. And I'm also excited because a portion of today's video is in partnership with Apostrophe. Apostrophe did partner with me on my last empties video and wanted to work together again, which I was super excited about because you guys know that this is a brand that I've been really loving. I've had such great results in the past several months since I made the switch to apostrophe. So I will disclaim that again when we get to that portion of the video when I'm talking about that product, but the rest of the video is not sponsored. All right, before we jump into it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting me know a product that you have been loving over the past several months. Thanks so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm. So I I appreciate you so much for that. And if you need anything from me, check out the description box below. I have Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, timestamps, discount codes, links to all the products that I'll be sharing today and links to the rest of my favorite beauty products of all time. All right, let's talk favorites. It's about time. All right, let's kick this video off with skincare favorites. And my first skincare favorite is Apostrophe. So again, this is the portion of the video that is in partnership with Apostrophe. Let's jump into it. Bare face, prepped and ready to apply Apostrophe while I am chatting through details. If you are not familiar with the brand, Apostrophe connects you with board certified dermatologists in order to receive personalized treatment plans containing oral and or topical medications for skin concerns like acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation, fine lines, and wrinkles. My prescription contains tretinoin, spironolactone, and tranexamic acid, and I've been using it for roughly four months now, and I am so happy with my results. I've told you guys before that even though my skin was in really good shape from using tretinoin for four years, tretinoin did not completely get rid of my breakouts for me. I was still getting breakouts around my cycle, and I was just so sick of dealing with it, especially in this stage of my life. I feel like I constantly have some sort of special event to go to, a wedding, an engagement party, a bachelorette party, a shower, and all of those events obviously include a lot of photos and videos, and I was sick of worrying about whether or not I was going to have a breakout on that day. So my best friend got married a month ago, and because of the timing of her wedding, I normally 100% would have gotten at least one, if not a few breakouts. So I was nervous leading up to it that I was going to end up with a breakout, but I had been using apostrophe at that point for a few months and I did not have a single breakout the entire weekend. It was such a relief because then when cameras were pulled out, I didn't have to worry about my skin. I didn't want to be thinking about my skin on that day. I just wanted to be present and happy and excited for my best friend. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys because I have been there. I can completely relate to the feeling of not being able to not think about your skin at a special event like that, and it shouldn't have to be that way. So if you're interested in testing out Apostrophe, if you're in the same boat as me, or maybe you have other skin concerns that you want to tackle, I'm going to list a promo code in the description box below. It is just my name, all caps. A-B-B-E-Y-Y-U-N-G, -E and that will get you your initial consultation for $5 plus an additional $5 off your first order. Next up is the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Dermo Milky Cleanser. As many of you already know, I am completely obsessed with really soft, milky, creamy cleansers, and my favorite kind of cleanser like that for the longest time was the Bybee Milk Melt Cleanser, but that has since been discontinued which has been very traumatic for me. So since then, I have been purchasing milky cleansers like an actual crazy person trying to find a nice replacement. And out of all that I've purchased and tried so far, my favorite is this one from La Roche-Posay. It's so, so nice. I will say it has a super basic ingredients list, which is fine by me because cleansers on the skin for like 
five seconds. So if you're on the lookout for a cleanser that has tons of amazing ingredients, then this might not be for you. But for me, what's most important in a cleanser is that it gets the job done and feels nice on my skin and is gentle enough on my sensitive skin to not cause irritation. And that's exactly what this cleanser is. It's super gentle, but feels so soft, so hydrating. My skin just feels so nice after I use it. What can I say? My skin loves this La Roche-Posay cleanser, so I would highly recommend it, especially if you're someone with dry skin, a cleanser with this kind of creamy formula. Oh, feels like heaven. The Bioma Balancing Face Mist is something that I shared with you guys in my last Drugstore Gems video, and I have been having a love affair with it ever since. It has awesome ingredients for calming, replenishing, hydrating, and protecting the skin barrier like ceramides, probiotics, allantoin, and panthenol. So it has been my favorite way to add ingredients that help to do those things to my skin and really help to hydrate my skin before serum. I feel like the way that I don't know, my serum applies with a mist like this underneath, just makes my skin look extra plump and juicy. So I love that, but I also just love the whole experience of applying this. It has a really nice, fine, soft mist. It just feels so nice and refreshing on the skin. It's very self-care-esque into it. My second to last skincare favorite is something that I've talked about in a lot of recent videos. So I'm sure many of you are sick of hearing about this, but it wouldn't be right to not include it in my favorites video because of that, because I've really been raving about this. I've been using it nonstop. I seriously love this so much. So in case you missed it, or to reiterate, my current favorite Asian sunscreen is the Skinnic Enjoy Super Mild Sun Essence, SPF 50. This has tons of incredible ingredients in it, like niacinamide, centella asiatica, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, but an even more incredible formula. It is a gel lotion that is lightweight yet moisturizing. It feels so nice and soft and smooth on the skin. It applies beautifully. It has no white cast. It's just such a nice universal sunscreen. I really can't imagine anyone not enjoying this, but if you would like to see some other options for textures and finishes when it comes to an Asian sunscreen, I'm going to list a recent video that I uploaded where I share my top 10 favorite Asian sunscreens. The, I mean, they're all beautiful. I'm obsessed with all of them. This is just my current obsession. We'll see where I'm at next month. And my last skincare favorite is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Flex Sunscreen. This launched last summer, and while I definitely used it a good amount last summer, I feel like I have used it a lot more this summer, and it's really become my go-to sunscreen when I want to match my face to my self-tan with some additional coverage. I have a lot of tinted sunscreens that I love, but this definitely has the most coverage out of all of them, so I feel like it does the best job at matching my skin tone. Otherwise, if a tinted sunscreen is too sheer, I feel like you can tell that I have very fair skin underneath. Like it's not quite adding up right. It looks a little off. I'll still do it, but if I'm somewhere where I care about my skin and body matching in a better way, then I will reach for this and it is really, really good. The only thing about it is that it's not super lightweight. So I don't use this as my sole means for sun protection. If you want to, you can because it's an SPF 50, which is amazing. But because it is a little bit thicker in feel, I will pair it with some sort of untinted sunscreen first, like Skinnic, for example. I'll do two layers of that and then just apply a light layer of this really for the purpose of that color and coverage. Oh, and they do have a few different shades in this sunscreen. The shade that I have is medium to match the self tan. Otherwise this would be far too dark for me. And I think that it has a really nice natural dry down, which I think is another reason why it just pairs well with a different sunscreen underneath. It's not going to make it look super greasy and shiny, not gonna make it look matte. It's just kinda somewhere in between. K18 recently launched two new shampoos, which was very exciting for me. <laughs> they have the Peptide Prep pH, pH no, pH maintenance shampoo. There we go. And the Peptide Prep detox shampoo and i love them both so much for so many reasons even though this one is not technically a clarifying shampoo and this one technically is i think that both of these are great for removing oil and build up because they don't have oils or butters or any heavy conditioning ingredients in them that can weigh the hair down or leave residue behind that prevents you from getting a proper cleanse and just makes the hair not look properly cleaned so i think they're both awesome for that purpose 
They also both have a very low pH. So the pH maintenance shampoo has a pH between 4.5 and 5.5 right on the money. And the detox shampoo is even lower between 3.8 and 4.2 amazing. If you are trying to decide between the two, I will list the review that I posted on both of these earlier this month because I talk through ingredients, I show them in action and just do a deeper dive comparison. So that will help you to figure out which of these two will be the best fit for you. But either way, I don't think that you can go wrong. They are so good. You got to try one at least. For me. Next up is the Red Can Acidic Bonding Concentrate Intensive Treatment. This is a pre-shampoo treatment that claims to strengthen, condition, smooth, and repair the hair. And the key ingredient that Red Can highlights in this product is citric acid because they say that that ingredient is going to help to reinforce weakened bonds. After looking into this product, I was definitely intrigued, but not super convinced it would do much for my hair because I already use low pH hair care. And aside from the citric acid, it has a very very basic ingredients list, some quats, and that's about it. But surprisingly, this makes my hair feel amazing. And I think a big reason why I love this so much is because of how lightweight it is compared to thicker, heavier, more buttery hair masks. When I use this with a conditioner, my hair is still plenty conditioned. It feels really soft and smooth, but I feel like it also just feels a little bit more lightweight and bouncy than when I use a really, really thick buttery hair mask to deep condition. So I love that about it. And even though it is technically supposed to be a pre-shampoo treatment, I feel like I get better results when I use this after shampoo when all of the buildup is removed from my hair. So when I use this, I'll shampoo, apply this, follow up with conditioner, and it is so, so good. So I do think that this would really work well with most hair types, but if you have really thin hair and or really fine hair and you feel like a lot of hair masks build up on your hair, just weigh it down and make it feel heavy, you have to try this. I feel like you'll be obsessed. Next is a new rope tie curl technique that I am so excited about because I stopped wearing rope tie curls a really long time ago. I felt like I was just never obsessed with my results and I definitely preferred other heatless styling methods. And while I still do have other heatless styling methods that I really love, this is my favorite for getting a really pretty beachy yet defined wave. Oh my gosh. So I walked you guys through this new technique in the beauty hacks video that I posted at the beginning of August. It is hard to explain really quickly, but so that you can get a general sense of how this technique is different from how I used to do rope tie curls, I'm going to play my TikTok tutorial super quickly. And then if you want to see an in-depth talk through where I really explain how it works, again, the beauty hacks video will be listed below for you love it so much. And I swear ever since I kind of figured out how to do that technique, which I did actually learn from someone else. Her name is Shona Scott and I'll list her original video below if you guys want to see how she did it since I did not create this technique myself. But ever since I figured out how to actually do it, whenever I wear my hair like that, you guys always ask how I got those waves and that's how. So robe tie curls have found a new place in my heart and the robe tie that I use for that technique is just this really nice, soft, comfy robe from Target. So I'll list that below as well. All right, let's move on to makeup next. First up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Lip Gloss. I first saw this in Ulta maybe like a month ago. It still says it's new on their website, so I'm not sure how long this has been out, but when I walked past the display, I was like, huh, what the heck is that? Why do I not know what that is? Because I feel like I'm not kidding. I know what every single lip gloss is. I at least know that it's there. So this stopped me in my tracks. I did a little swatch and I about fainted right there in the store because I don't know if I've ever seen a lip gloss like this. It is so intensely glittery, but in the most beautiful way possible. It just makes your lips look so dimensional. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So I have the shade Peachy. They do have two other glittery shades and I'm gonna get both of them because I don't have self-control when it comes to lip gloss. I will say the only downside to this is that you can feel a tiny, tiny bit of like graininess from the glitter when you're first applying it. So it's not the smoothest lip gloss to apply ever, but it's really not that noticeable at all in my opinion. It's not scratchy, it's not uncomfortable. It's just that you can feel it a tiny bit, but it's so worth it to me because of the result. Oh my gosh. So another product that 
I swear you need to try out just for me, please. And let me know what you think. Next up is the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Gel, which I feel like is kind of random for me to have in a favorites video. I don't often share brow products like this in favorites videos because I kind of just stick to what I always use. But a couple months ago, Nude Sticks sent me a PR package and this was in it. So I was like, sure, I'll give it a go. I'll try it out. I'm sure it's fine. Like every other eyebrow pencil. I'm so glad that I tried it because well, I wouldn't say there's anything remarkably different about the actual pencil itself. Somehow the color of this is the most perfect match for me. I feel like it matches my natural brow color perfectly. Like maybe it's a little bit darker and warmer. I have such sparse brows that I feel like anything's gonna look darker on them, but I feel like this is such a perfect match for my new kind of darker, warm toned hair. I just feel like it complements everything so well. And I was getting questions. Oh, I forget when this was about like what I had done differently with my makeup or like something looks different. And I realized it was because of this eyebrow pencil. It was the only thing that I had changed. It just complimented me, in my opinion, so much better than what I was using before. So I can't live without it. The shade that I have is blonde. After I ran out of the one that they sent me, I purchased four more because I just, I can never be without it. It's that good of a match. Oh, it's good. And it's nice that it has a little brow gel on the other end. So two in one. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter Palette right here. Oh my God, do I love this product. So I purchased this to test and review for the giant Charlotte Tilbury product review video that I posted a couple months ago now. I'll list that below, but out of that video, there were a lot of products I loved. This was easily within my top five to three, probably top three. I could not stop using this because it is just the most beautiful, soft, finely milled powder that gives you such a gorgeous, I don't know, just like glass fairy-like skin highlight. And there are four different shades in this pan, a purple, kind of a pinky glitter champagne, and then like a frostier white. I will typically just mix my brush between all of them, but if you wanted to use separate colors, they're all pretty individually. Either way, oh my God, I love how this looks on the cheek so, so much. So much so that I just repurchased it. It is expensive. It's like $45, which feels insane, I know, but goes to show how much I love it because I dropped this and shattered it. I think actually the day that I was filming this video, is that right? Or right around then, and I rebought it. I, I can't. So necessary, no, but if you just love that kind of highlight, then I don't think you'll be disappointed. Next up is the Makeup by Mario Lip Serum, which for most of you is not going to be new news. I know that this went viral a long time ago and I've recommended this in a couple of videos already, but not in a favorites video. And it really has been a favorite of mine for several months. So I feel like I have to include it. The shade that I have been wearing the most is Mauve Glow. I think that it's beautiful. At the time of me filming this, I don't think this video will go up for a couple weeks. Actually, I had to pre-record, but a few weeks ago, they started posting that every Monday for the rest of the summer, they were going to launch a new shade of the lip serum. And there are so many shades that I really, really need to buy for legal reasons. So I don't think this is the last that you'll see of this product. Unfortunately, I think we're just getting started, but Mauve Glow is what I've been wearing the most. It's so pretty. This lip serum, whichever shade you choose, has a really nice amount of light coverage on the lips. So it just looks more natural. I think that sheer light coverage lip color products like that are just really, really flattering. So I've been wearing them nonstop and this has a super soft, moisturizing, cushy feel, a really nice glossy finish. It's just such a beautiful product. The perfect wearable lip. So good. Same kind of story here with this product as the Makeup by Mario Lip Serum. It went viral a while ago. I've recommended it before, but I can't not include it because this is by far the best liquid blush that I have ever tried. It is the NARS liquid blush in the shade Orgasm, as I'm sure many of you already know just by me holding up this bottle. 
It is phenomenal. It is super, super lightweight, so easy to blend, has a beautiful amount of pigment that you can build up to be really pigmented if you want, or keep it looking a little bit more natural. It blends on top of liquids and powders, which is definitely not always the case with a liquid or cream blush. It's just very easy to work with in that sense and has a really nice kind of satiny finish on the skin. It's not greasy, it's not shiny. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. The most beautiful everyday wearable pink and it lasts all day long, all freaking day long. The wear with this is unreal. So for all of those reasons, again, I couldn't not include it in this video. If you haven't tried this, oh my God, do yourself a favor. And my last makeup favorite is actually a brush. Another kind of random addition to a favorites video for me, but this has just been my go-to for liquid blush applications. So with a NARS blush or anything else, it is the Huda Beauty Face Cheek Color Brush. They sent this to me in PR, kind of similar to the eyebrow pencil. I was like, I don't know, we'll try it. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know what it is about this and the way that it's set up that applies liquid or cream blush so much better for me than other tools, but it really does. I think I saw that this was supposed to be considered like a stippling brush. So I do just stipple liquid blush onto my cheeks with this and I feel like it blends like a dream. It just makes applications so, so foolproof. So I absolutely love this. I was actually looking at reviews and I saw several say that it was really scratchy and I'm like, what? Mine's actually very soft. And I mean, I do have some liquid blush residue in there for sure. So maybe that's softening it a little bit, but this does not feel scratchy to me, so I'm a little confused by that. I don't know, the one that I have, incredible. Okay, I have two kind of miscellaneous beauty favorites to share, and then we will wrap up with lifestyle favorites at the end of the video. So the first of the two is the Sol de Janeiro Perfume Mist. I shared this with you guys in the beauty hacks video that I posted at the beginning of the month, and I was telling you guys how much I freaking love this specific scent, which is tan lines. It just smells so summery and yummy. I love it. And then of course, right after I posted that video, they discontinued this specific scent. Classic. But the good news is that they have tons of other scent options in this specific mist, and I've smelled all of them multiple times, and I think they all smell delicious. I actually just ordered their classic Brazilian Crush scent for the fall, and I'm so excited for that to get here because it's the perfect kind of fall winter scent, salted caramel, vanilla yumminess. You can't go wrong, they're all so good, but I have been loving these for just kind of a lighter, fresher perfume or for a hair kind of perfume refresh midweek when my hair is not smelling as fresh. So again, regardless of the scent that you choose, I promise you're gonna find one that you love because they have so many options and they are all so, so good. All right, last beauty favorite is the Dibs Status Stick. This is a TikTok purchase. I saw someone using it and I was like, what is that? That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And turns out it is a face and body highlighter and it is the best ever. So they actually have three different shades. I picked up two of them because I'm crazy. I have the shade Good Life Gold, which is just a nice, beautiful gold color, and High Road Highlight, which is more of a rose gold, both stunning. And this has, I feel, the best kind of formula for a product like this, because if you want to use this all over your body, it has a very kind of dry touch feel to it. So it's not going to feel oily or sticky. It's not gonna get you know gross in your hair all over your clothes in that sense. And this is the most insanely bright highlight I have ever, ever seen. It just gives you the most beautiful body glow ever. Oh my gosh. I'll show you guys. We'll do good light gold over here. What? And I mean, it's intense, so that's obviously gonna be too much for a lot of people, but you of course can rub it out for more of a natural, like what? Look at the difference in my shoulders. I feel like for any wedding that I go to, special event where I am wearing a dress, this will forever be drenched all over my upper body. I cannot. Okay, the other one here, high road highlight, more rosy gold. So yeah, it just depends on whichever shade you like better or maybe like me, you feel you need both. I can't. 
that's enough. That's all I need to say. All right, time to wrap up the video with lifestyle favorites. I will try to talk through these quickly because there's, you know, not much to say other than to show them to you. You guys, you're like a black t-shirt, really? No. Yes, but no. So this is from Abercrombie. I will say I feel like Abercrombie has not been impressing me nearly as much as they used to, but this is a t-shirt that I really, really love. It is their Ribbed Crew Essential Baby T-shirt. And the reason why I love it is that I feel like it's hard for me to find a baby t-shirt that really hits at the perfect length on me where I can wear it with high rise jeans. It kind of hits right above the jean and it doesn't look like a crop top. Hard for me to find and this ends up being the perfect fit for me. So I have these size small and because I love it so much, I got it in black and cream and brown. The cream and brown are just in the wash because I've been wearing these nonstop. So I also love wearing something like this with a high rise jogger, sweatpant, pair of sneakers. T-shirts like this are my go-to and that's why I go crazy when I find one that fits well because it's difficult for me. I'm a tall gal. Next up is this rechargeable LED mirror that I got off of Amazon. This actually has three different light color settings. Pretty cool. Again, it's rechargeable and it has this little kind of foldy flap cover, whatever you wanna call it, so that you can conceal and protect the mirror while you're traveling, but then prop it up on a table while you're using it. So I have been using this nonstop for travel. Whenever I go somewhere, I need to have this with me because I feel like I have some makeup products that have nice mirrors in them, but nothing this big. This is just such a solid mirror to bring with you so that you know you have one. You know when you go on a group trip and the bathroom space is limited, which means that the mirror space is limited and you need to get ready, and then you're like getting ready in a teeny tiny mirror, no, never again, now that you have this. All right, and of course I have to wrap up with a couple book favorites. It wouldn't be a favorites video without that. So my first book favorite is The Mother-in-Law. On the front it says, everyone in this family is hiding something. So basically it has this kind of strained mother-in-law, daughter-in-law relationship throughout. And then it says this on the back of the book. It starts this way with you knowing it. It's not me ruining it that the mom dies and she has a suicide note found near her body claiming that she no longer wanted to live because of the cancer wreaking havoc inside her. But the autopsy finds no cancer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, need I say more? But for something that is a totally different speed from that, the other book I read that I really enjoyed is, oh, okay, those are my plane tickets, is Beach Read. So this is, yeah, not typically a book that I would reach for because it's just like a lighthearted summer romance. I really love suspenseful thrillers, but I was like, you know what? I think I need a break just a palette cleanser. And I'm really glad that I read this because it was nice to have a little change of pace. It was a little bit slower to start because I think I'm just not used to reading books like this, but I'm really glad that I ended up reading it because it just makes you feel good at the end. It's a cute one. All right, you guys, those are all of the favorites that I wanted to share for today's video. So we are going to wrap up here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in testing out anything that I talked about in this video, let me know in the comments below. And as always, they will all be listed and linked in my description box for you so they're really easy to find. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more favorites, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. It really helps to support me, so I appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.